Buffalo Dreams. The f*** am I gonna do for a thumbnail for Buffalo Dreams, dude? <laughs> Welcome back to Everyday's Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Everyday's Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Buffalo Dreams. Buffalo Dreams is a 2005 Disney Channel original movie. It's directed by David Jackson, cinematography by Dennis Maloney, editing by Luigi Offi. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Everybody relax. Music by Ramin Jawadi. Insane. And it's written by Marjorie Schwartz Nielsen. Film stars Riley McClendon as Josh, Simon Baker as Thomas. Tessa Vaughn as Scout and Max Vanville as Moon. This was shot on location in Utah, which isn't really surprising. Looks exactly like Utah. Cinematography really wasn't the best. And I'm starting to get a little salty when DCOMs have bad cinematography because I feel like they have been upping the quality. And so when I get one that's not the best, I get a little disappointed that it either hasn't been like restored or isn't great quality. Because looking back, I feel like we'll see when we get there, but High School Musical was pretty good quality cinematography and this is only a year like not even a full year difference i'm sure i have very mixed feelings about this movie i don't think it's the best written i think a beautiful sentiment is there what i'm not crazy about is i feel like lately it's been in order to explore other cultures uh through a decom the main character has to be white being introduced to these cultures instead of just telling a story that everyone can relate to um, from a kid from that culture. Like, think about how good this movie could have been if it was about Thomas and how he doesn't want to stay there. He wants to go live in a big city, have a normal job, leave the, leave the Navajo culture, so to speak. Um, think about how interesting and how good this movie could have been if it was about how, like, he didn't want to do what his parents wanted him to do, which is a very relatable story that everyone can relate to or have seen or whatever else. But he, like, through the course of the story, comes to learn and appreciate his culture and realizes maybe he does want to stay or maybe there's a way to have both or whatever else. Like, think about how beautiful that story could have been versus Josh, no effect. Like I'm all about everyone learning about other cultures and respecting them and like, you know, all of that. I'm 100%, but Thomas's story would have been more interesting than Josh moving to this area and befriending the local people <laughs> and deciding that he just also respects the land and isn't going to side with the kids that ride their bike and disrespect the land. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think Thomas's story would have been a lot more interesting um, and a lot more beautiful. Not that Josh coming to learn and respect the Navajo, um, you know, religion and culture and idea that they, you know, they not worship, but, uh, sacred the buffalo are sacred to them you know what i mean like i i'm so about him learning that stuff and coming to appreciate it and appreciate their beauty and help keep them safe and the town safe and all that kind of stuff i'm here for it i just think it's interesting that in order to explore other cultures <laughs> it needs to be like a white kid is the main character being introduced to the culture instead of just telling the story of a kid in that culture anyway this isn't my favorite um it could have been better. I know it sounds shallow, but I feel like they focused on the bikes and the racing too much. Um, I get that that was like the way he was gonna stand up for everything, but it could have been anything else. It could have just been like, he wanted to seem cool to the kids, not because they are also bikers, but because he's a new kid in town and wants to have friends. Um, and like, show, like he could have showed them that area to cool off if they had been doing anything else. Like it's just a hot day. Like, you know, I feel like the bikes aspect of it was so unmotivated. Like this kid just, you learn right away that this kid just likes bikes. And it's like, okay, I mean, the movie's not about bicycling though. Like the movie is about respecting 
and like appreciating the Navajo culture and like coming to want to stick up for and like, you know, that's what it's supposed like is about. But they focus so heavily on him using like his love of riding a bicycle as not <laughs> that sounds cheap, like riding a like racing bikes and stuff like that. Um as like a means to do that I don't which is fine but I don't know it could have been way it just could have been better and I'm disappointed because I really thought I was going to learn a lot more about Navajo culture I really thought I was going to get to see some really beautiful storytelling and just all that kind of stuff um and not that it's not a beautiful story it just wasn't as good as I wanted it to be um there are two parent deaths and the kids uh, uh Thomas's parents died in a car crash um, the kids that are like the bad, like horrible, misbehaved, very rude children are terrible and I hate them. I feel like this is a compliment to Riley, but he is so good at being just a jerk. He's so good at being like this entitled, snobby jerk. All I can think about is him and Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off being the worst friend of all time. Um, and he really, he does that so well. So like when he's like remorseful and sweet in this, it somehow still comes off as like, not like nasty. Like he's, I said I was sorry. Or like um, when he tells the kids that the buffalo are stampeding and they're gonna ruin the town. Like he even says that to them in like a, how could you even care about this race? When the, like, you know, it's like, the, how were they supposed to know the buffalo were stampeding? They didn't know yet. Um, I feel like he's so good at being a jerk. So like, I mean, I'm a huge compliment to his acting skills, I guess, but um, it just makes me hate him. <laughs> Not as a person, but like his characters. I'm just like, ugh. So yeah. And then Adrian being in this, being the radio announcer, what was that? I feel like I've seen this movie one time in my entire life and I remember none of it. I'm gonna start with a thing that is not important at all by any way, shape or form. This child jumps into that water with his socks on. What kind of maniac does that? What in the world? The other, well, no. Unless you're wearing your socks specifically to try and protect your feet from like sharp rocks, which you look like you couldn't touch the bottom anyway. What? No. No. I remember none of this, like I said, and those kids were the absolute worst. 100 million percent and i pretty much have touched on everything else the papyrus font at the beginning was disgusting wait no way <laughs> pick a different font um but i touched on everything else during the writing section i wanted this to be more just like the last movie i feel like it had really good really good base but execution this less of a good base good concept wasn't on board for like the biking pink whatever i digress that's my opinion everybody chill out that's everything i have for buffalo dreams my final rating is four buffaloes out of ten our total movie count is our parent that's all is <laughs> cry count is still the same if you want to keep up with movie watching when follow me on instagram you'll find out what we watching when i put up videos every monday and friday and sometimes wednesday join patreon i have a tier starting at just one dollar you get every video a week early you get a coupon code for merch tiers above that Daily trivia, weekly random facts, monthly podcasts, monthly postcards, uh, sometimes a piece of free merch, other times a video chat with me, bonus contact, community chat, just go look, okay? It's really great up over there. Just do it. Thank you. Uh, buy merch. Merch is great. Parent death, see? Until next time, come on, you subscribe, don't charge of your life, you are, should you, and don't be the curly head blonde kid about it. He was the worst of the worst. <laughs> So my schedule got all kinds of thrown off. So when I was filming this, I didn't realize that it was the last video of the year for EDME. I will see you in January back to our regularly scheduled EDME twice a week. Get ready for Vlogmas.